Hello, all you fellow space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and I am day six here on the frozen rock. And I am going to run over here real quick and grab this unknown signal. That's just way too close to let it get by. These that's some of the stuff that uh, we that I want to, to take advantage of since we don't have a lot of resources so let's at least capture this before it gets away from us and I hear it and there it is let's uh Turn it off here. Come on, there we go. Let's see if we've got. Hey, we got a badger suit. Imagine that. All right. And where is the? Where's? It's probably on the bottom. Come on, roll. go all right what do we got oh all kinds of stuff credits cucumber seeds fertilizer organics steel plates we can use those all right so let's, uh, let's grind some of this stuff down I think now what I'm going to try to do is save the battery just like I did on the last time and see if we can't finish up our recovery vehicle and uh, come over here and salvage this battery all right come on quit your rolling I don't want to touch the battery because it'll just turn to scrap Get that block there. All right. All right. We're still good on the battery. go all right we're gonna mark the battery and we're gonna go over and finish the recovery vehicle and we're gonna come over here and salvage this battery oh, where am I at uh, there we go GPS ah uh, New from current, we're going to call this battery. And let's kind of give it a little bit different color. Maybe something about like that. That way we should be able to find it and know. Yeah, right there. Okay, we'll be able to get it. All right. Let's get back over here. And let's see if we can pick up where we left off. Uh, I was just about done with the recovery vehicle. I don't know what I want to call it yet. Maybe Scorpion because it has that tail sitting out on it. I don't know. Uh, but uh, we will be able to take it out and recover more of those. Because those batteries, we can weld those into the base and those will help with our power at least some power fluctuations so let me get back over here I was very close what we have left to get done I need to put an ore detector on here and I'll probably put it right there uh, let's
let's uh, see here. Yeah, let's just uh, pull it down right here. Uh, metal detector. That's uh, that's what they're calling it. And let's see. I do have some steel, so perfect. I think we'll just plop it right under where the cockpit is there. That that'll go good. I've got two gyros on there. I've got the antenna. I just got to build those out. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, I thought there. Were, oh, I want to put a small battery on here. And let's. Uh, oh, wrong. Uh, let's see. Power, power, power blocks. All right. Uh, small acid. I think actually we need to build a uh, not that acid. A small alkaline battery. This is only going to be for just emergency purposes. We're really not going to. Uh, and let's just kind of stick it in under here, out of the way. Yeah, we'll just stick it right there that'll work all right uh, so let's uh, let's go get what we need Oop. all right and oh. let's uh, all right Three steel plates. I have this. Oh, uh, I need to make power. Or, yeah. Let's get in here. Production. Uh, the fabricator. Oh, you know what? I think I have to make this over here. Because we don't have the assembler yet. Production. Assembly bench. Oh, that's acid. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Alkaline power cells. So I need copper energy low. and ice. Oh, energy's low. All right. Well, let's get charged up here. And what my hope for today is, while we're getting charged up, is that we we get the scorpion or the recovery vehicle done. Uh, we go recover that battery and recover some other some of the other unknown signals that drop out of the sky uh, and I'd like to get back up to the old temp base and see if we can't start salvaging that uh, if you remember in the last day five I discovered that I had the trash removal on so some of the stuff up there the Hopefully the gravel's not gone because I really have plans to use that gravel. Uh, so uh, let's get back over here. I needed uh, copper. So let's see. Oh, I don't have anything going here. All right. Well, we could get this into there. That can go into there. Aluminum can't. That can go into there. That can go into there. And that can go into there. That cannot, but that can go into there. And why aren't you refining? What? We just don't have enough power at the moment because of the weather, I think. Input. 
Yeah, the wind turbines are barely kicking anything out. Uh, what can we turn off? Turn that off. Turn the fabricator off. And our battery on there. Current input. Wow. We are kind of dead in the water at the moment. And our buggy's just not quite putting enough power out. Well, the wind should start picking up here pretty quick, I hope. Uh, let me turn this off as well for the time being. Toggle that off. And let's see if we're getting this going. Uh, nope, not yet. Well, once I get this going, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Because uh, we're kind of dead in the water here at the moment. Well, it looks like the wind turbines are not really producing like they were. I don't know if there was maybe an update. But we are not getting any kind of production out of the wind turbines here. They're all working properly. So, I'm working on trying to resolve the power issue here. And I uh, think I need to get this battery built. What uh, do I need? Well, I need materials. And I need the smelter. Oh, I'm going to have to probably... Oh, good heavens. I don't want to have to start using the survival kit again. Uh, we do have some materials here. Let's grab these. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is get the scorpion going. And then we'll build another uh, retainer or a uh, charging station and see if we can't hook it up and give it some power. Otherwise, I'm going to have to try to build some more wind turbines. I was not expecting the power to literally go out. Uh, we are only getting... We're not getting any input. That's on. I've got the other stuff off. Such as the assembly bench. These are all off. The charging station is on. The battery over here should be producing. I'm not... Let me uh, disconnect this. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, there we go. Let's disconnect that and then let's uh, hook it back up. Still not. I don't know what happened. Well, I'll keep working away at this. And when I have, and then when I have uh, more information, I'll uh, check back in. Well, I've done some testing here, and actually I've got some things hooked up. I've actually got the engine running. Uh, so I just took the handbrake off. Let's, let's see if this is going to actually go forward a little bit. All right. So we are... We 
do have some of that, so we got to get uh, another charging station built, and that shouldn't take too much. And then we'll cook it up, and with this engine running, uh, we will see if we can't get some more power going in to get that smelter up and running again. So let's, for the time being, let's uh, turn these all off. And I did get that alkaline battery on there just uh, as a backup uh, in order to get uh, uh, the hydrogen engine started. But it should start up now. Yep, everything's good, so we shouldn't have to rely on that at the moment. So let's uh, let's get a charging station built. And what's that take? Uh, a basic computer, a construction component. To I actually might have all of that on me. Let's just see if we can plop that down right here. Uh, do not have that. Let's go. Power. Uh, where is it? Let's uh, bring that down here. And it should be. That's what I want. Let's see. Uh, let's turn it that way. Not that it matters. And let's uh, build it. There we go. That's, oh, I need uh, one construction. Thought I had that. Let's, uh, uh, construction component. Do I have that anywhere? Well, let's just build it. And let's uh, grab that. And let's see if we can't get this thing built. The basic computer, I thought, it, oh, you know what? I used it on the alkaline battery. That's what I did. That's why I don't have those. Uh, let's just throw this in here anyway. Let's go production, uh, basic computer. Let's uh, grab that. Let's get it. All right, so this is up and running. I can connect this over to here. Somewhere on here, I think, I hope. There we go. Now let's fire this thing up. Three, four, five. That should be running. And I noticed my windmills had started to pick up a little bit. Let's see, is this thing on? And tell me still don't have enough power for this? What in the world? Fire input, one kilowatt. So our wind turbines are producing... Oh, they're just not producing. I don't know what in the world happened. Well... This is a setback, a big setback. We've got to build more wind turbines and we have, we should have input power coming in because we've got that connected. Let's see, what's it showing? Let's turn it off. Just 
stopped. Is there's am I missing something else? Oh. Oh, good heavens, good heavens, look at that. I've got 10.8 gravel. Watch this. Hey, son of a gun, it's working. Oh. Uh, Alright. Y'all probably been sitting out there wondering, check your check your inventory, check your inventory. Let's get that gravel out of there. We are going to need that gravel. So, only the uh, commander's incompetence is uh, preventing stuff from getting moving forward. As usual, we're uh, back on track. Get that gravel out of there. And we'll be able to continue to make things. I'll uh, turn, gotta turn everything else back on. Make sure everything's turned back on again. All right, let's see the. Oh wow! All right, let's see the assembly bench is on. Charging the extruder is now on. The fabricator is now back on. And I think that's everything that. And obviously, the smelter is up. All right. I think we are <laughs> back again. All right. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is disconnect that. That's still running. It doesn't need... Yeah. And then this way we're not uh, using up all of our ice. So let's turn these off. All right, and let's hop back out. How much ice do we have in here? Uh, we we'll use some of that up. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go get some more ice, and then we're going to finish getting the gyros built. So, uh, when I get the gyros built, and the antenna built I will uh, check back with you we'll be ready to go out and I think recover that battery so be back in just a little bit okay I think I've got this pretty well completed I've got a go through and name everything and I've got to identify my pistons but we'll kind of do that uh, there's an unknown signal that's only a less than a kilometer away so we got five minutes left on it so let's go ahead and see if we can do our first recovery with that then we'll go grab our battery and then if the weather's good enough uh, we'll head back or actually maybe when morning breaks we'll go back up to the temp base and recover that stuff up there so let's uh, let's hop in let's turn everything on uh, four, five and one and let's uh, oh I know what I gotta do first uh, let's go this and let's see here uh, ba -ba 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 -da. where's my control panel my gyros we're naming this stuff recovery so let me do this They are currently on anyway. Uh, recovery. And let's make a group. Uh, let's 
not right. There we go, recovery. Gyros, save. And then uh, let's do this. G, groups. Toggle block on and off. And I always do this as well. Let's uh, decrease power. Increase power, and let's uh, let's decrease these gyros down a little bit to about 50%. There we go. All right. Now let's get rolling here. Yeah, this one engine is just. It's not necessarily powerful enough. You can kind of hear it sputtering along, but it does the job. And what we will do is actually, you know, there's one other thing I got to do. I haven't done it yet. We'll get out here. I want to get over here and, and at least try to save this before it explodes on us. Countdown is on. Come on, come on. Let's get here before it explodes. We're almost there. Closing in on it. Pop out. Come on, come on, come on. Where is the button? Let's grab everything out of here. Uh, got all of that. And, alright, Badger helmet. Okay. Now, let's uh, strip this down. just have the battery that's left. And... I've got to go... Th uh, I need to... name all those pistons. I didn't do that yet. And... Uh, our, battery, uh, our battery's on the bottom. I don't want to grind it. Right. Come on. Where are you at? All right. Let's. Get that. That. I hate these little things. I can never get lined up on them. Come on. Plus, with a crappy grinder, doesn't help either. There we go. Now let's get this. And that just leaves our battery. All right. So the next thing we got to do is I've got to name name these pistons. Got to figure out which is which. I I should have done that as I was completing them, uh, but. I, I forgot to do that. So let's let's get in here. And it, this should be piston one. So let's go ahead and just... Uh, uh, actually, let's do this first. Let's grab them all. And we'll set them all to... Uh, a minus point two, which is about right. And let's see. I don't 
think there's any... Oh, uh, we need to set them all to zero. There we go. And, I actually, I need to name... So when I get these pistons all set up, I'll uh, get, uh, get back with you. Alright, I think I got my pistons all uh, set up, and I'll show you here. I've got pistons 1, pistons 2, pistons 3, and pistons 4. So what we are going to do now is get this aligned over, over the battery. And then now uh, we're going to pick that up. Now that should be on auto lock. Let me check that. Uh, the uh, metal, metal magnetic plate. It's on auto lock. Yeah, auto lock is on. So we should be able to lock onto that battery once we get that into position. Alright. Now, let's... Uh, uh, of course, it started snowing. Let's see if we can kind of get... So we need to kind of back up a little bit. And really, the main reason it's not... You're, you're hearing it kind of not being... Uh, underpowered is because the pistons are on. The pistons take a lot of power. Alright, let's see if we can kind of get this lined up. Alright, we should just be able to kind of drive right over top of it like that. That should be fairly lined up. right there. All right. Let's uh, grab this battery. Let's see how much ice we've got going. It's been sitting there running. Yeah, we're still in good shape. We've got ice in the control seat. All right. So, let's see. That looks like we got to go out about uh, one and a half. So, piston one, this is why they're named, because I know that the, which directions each one go. So, let's, let's go ahead and reverse that. Uh, since that's one, it's, I already had that in there. Let's see how that line is lining up. Yeah, I think uh, one and a half would have been right. Let's do this. So we uh, go ahead and one point. Let's go 1.7 on this. All right. Let's lower our number four. We'll have to come out a little bit, but uh, we need to get number four down. All right. Let's uh, reverse that. I hope I didn't misjudge by adding those blocks on there. Eh, might have to put, make some changes there. Hopefully this is going to work. Let's, uh, let's bring this one down a little more. Let's bring it down to 1.5. allow us... Ooh, that's not looking good. That one block difference. I might have messed up adding those blocks in there. I don't remember if I had those added on. Uh, probably this one block here is going to make the difference. But, let's see. We're, we're lined up. Alright, we need to go out a little bit more. So, let's... Uh, uh, 
uh, number one. Let's just take it out to two. And uh, that's not. I don't know if that's quite enough. Let's uh, bring uh, number three out. out to uh, point three. bring it out to point seven. There we go, point seven. All right. Well, that one is out as far as it can go. I don't know if I can push this battery over just a little bit. Let's hope that that uh, will just bring uh, number four all the way down. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. I'm going to have to make some adjustments on that. So let's go two. Ah, dang it. Yep, that. Uh, that one block that I put in uh, is going to create a problem. And I'm not going to be, I don't know. Yeah, the wheel suspensions on these, these wheels are pretty crappy. All right. Well, we're going to have to go back to base. I'll mark this battery. I'll get back to base and I'll make some adjustments on this. Uh, what I'll probably do is detach that metal and put another block right there and then put the metal uh, plate, magnetic plate on it and that should be it. Let me see something here. Well, I don't have stuff for the plate and I can't make it out there because I'm going to need all of that. Alright. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, we're going to mark this battery right here. And then uh, I will uh, get back with you once I uh, get back here to pick this battery up. Okay, I am back. And as you can see, I've added a couple of blocks along with the uh, magnetic plate back on. Now let's see if we can pick this thing up. Uh, I need to go over about 0.5, so let's uh, try let's try this all again. Uh, oh, I need to actually turn my pistons on. Uh, they consume such a, a large amount of power when I'm running back and forth. I don't have the pistons on. I turn those off. All right, so piston number one, we need to go out. About 0.5. And let's reverse that. Uh, looks like a little more. About point, point 0.7 maybe. Uh, actually, let's go point 0.8.
I get to be pretty fast at this. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've used this, so... Alright, that's pretty good. Now we need to come out... Probably close to one meter. And that's going to be piston number three. for now. Alright. Uh, let's go. Let's go to 1.5. And there we go, we have it. All right. Let's uh, reverse piston number four. Bring that back up. And set that back to zero. Piston number three, we'll bring it back in. Uh, we should be able just to do that and that. And piston number one. Bring it back. There we go. All right. Uh, I can remove. Dang it. Uh, I can remove this battery number. Where'd you go? Battery number two. Delete. I went over to get that other battery first. And it was gone. Once in a while, they explode. They just explode. Which I think uh, they originally would do that if you don't go out and recover them. So I think that first one kind of exploded on me. But we got this one. Now let's... Uh, I need to turn those pistons off. And... We should be ready to get back. Oop, let's uh, take the parking brake off. So, we will recover a few of these. I'm not quite ready to use them yet. But uh, what we're going to do is... I'm going to use these batteries on my uh, hauling vehicle. My hauling truck. They're much more efficient than the hydrogen engine, and I will recover eight of them for that. I've already uh, know exactly how I want to put that together, so we can uh, collect those. I also want to set up a kind of a power grid for the base, and I will have a group of these lithium batteries as a backup. So as the power goes down, I'll have these group of lithium batteries there that will be able to uh, continue to keep power going to the base. And it uh, kind of uh, evens the flow out so you don't get uh, a lot of uh, ups and downs and spikes in the power. So that's that's kind of the plans for the future. So let's uh, let's get back inside here. Let's put our parking brake on. Uh, let's uh, we can 
what I want to do is drop the battery. Uh, let's go do this. Just get into control panel. Uh, recovery. Netting plate. And turn the auto lock off. And then we will unlock it. And that should have dropped that battery. And it did. And we'll just leave that battery right there. Uh, we can turn these off. Three, four, and five. And there we go. We've actually recovered that. Uh, so let's uh, actually... Uh, what the other... I see the sunrise coming. And one of the things I wanted to do was go back up to the temp base, which is a couple of miles away up there in the hills. We can turn the uh, metal detector on and just see if we can find anything else. We'll kind of do a, a loop going up there. And I think that's going to get pretty close to being what the uh, day was. I have, a car, I have a crate on here. So that gives us some hauling ability. And uh, we can access it from the back right here. Uh, it's the same size as basically a, a medium cargo container. So let's, uh, uh, let me put some ice, get some more ice. And so let me run over here and grab some ice. Uh, where's my stone hole? I also get my ice out of there. The other thing we're going to have to start doing is, uh, I need to get an automated drilling platform set in, and I will do that. Uh, in the future, the other thing I got to get set up is a the cement factory, so we'll be able to start utilizing all that gravel. It's amazing how much resources you can get out of that gravel. All right. Uh, let's fill up the one nice thing about hydrogen is we especially in a place like this you've got ice everywhere so you're not gonna run out of fuel for this thing so let's get uh, this filled up I also got ice in the control seat so we'll put the rest of this in there and we're full. And I'm... Oh, dang it. Uh, let's see. I am... I'm good on food and water for now. So let's... Uh, uh, let me actually unload that wire. We'll get it over here. Oh, I should... We'll put the wire in here. And let me get the ice up into here. Oh, dang it. All right, I need, and this is what I need. What I should do, let me go get a, uh, just some stone, so we can get some stone into the smelter, that way it, uh, that way it can be making some ores while we're gone. And that way it's being somewhat productive. Because we are going to be needing more ore. And yeah, just, just something. Alright. No reason to let it sit idle. Uh, throw that 
that in there. There we go. Let's get some of this gravel out of here while we're at it. So, so I don't uh, do any more bonehead uh, mistakes like that. Let's put that in there. All right. Well, let's get back up to the uh, temp base and see if we can grind down some of that stuff up there and we can bring that back and throw it in the old assembler. So uh, let's do this and let's uh, fire these things up and let's get head heading up. Sure, make sure my pistons are off. They're all off. Okay. Like I said, uh, this hyd this one hydrogen engine is just about enough power to handle handle this one vehicle. Uh, the lithium batteries that I'll be recovering for my cargo ca hauler. Uh, will be much better. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because we can't make lithium batteries, and the other batteries, ah, frankly, they suck. So, uh, oh, crap. Slow this down. I should make sure my metal detector is on, which I think it is. Uh, I need to set that up on the Detector, where are you at? Recovery metal detector. And you're on already. Alright, good. Uh, so, where was I? Uh, so this, this hydrogen engine is just enough power to really kind of handle what I have, what I do for this. This light recovery, uh, just small hauling, and that sort of thing. So, We'll be able to get up to the base up there, and you can kind of hear, you can kind of see that it is just, when I give it power, it's just, it's kind of maxing it out. So it, it does what it needs to do without having to have too much. This will be a bit of a hill. We need to, you can kind of see power wise. Come on, come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. Come on. We'll just kind of go side hill. Get over the hump here. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Almost there. Almost. We get over this spot right here. I can see the windmills up there. There we go. We can start building up some speed so that we can make the next one. All right. Chugging away here. Oh, uh, come on, come on, come on. That trees are going to be in the way. Come on, you can do it. I'm not normally going to be taking this thing up on this kind of terrain. So we're only kind of doing this just to get back up to the temp base. And we get up to this next plateau here. We should be able to turn back towards the temp base and start making our way back. Come 
on, let's get turned here. Come on, come on. You can do it. There we go. There it is. All right, tip base in sight. Okay. Oh, I think all my gravel is still there. It didn't, uh, I don't know why. Well, everything's there. I don't know. I, maybe because it's close enough to power here. Uh, let's park that. Let's uh, do this, this, and this. I'm not going to be able to bring it all back. And uh, so what we're going to start doing is hauling the gravel and the scrap. And then we'll see how much room we have. And then uh, I'll be making uh, another run up here. So let's just start grabbing all this scrap. Uh, titanium plate, aluminum plate. That's good stuff. Advanced computers. Inventory All right. full. Get uh, get this stuff loaded up into here. The good thing is it's all downhill. So we got two grids. I don't know how many. Uh, and we've got some scrap. Oh, I can't. I don't think I can grind that down, though. Well, I might be able to. If we can get the cobalt out of that. And then maybe we can make the grids for the assembler. But that's what's holding us up, is metal grids. So we'll grab all of this. Get it. Inventory. Get full. it back down there, and we'll start grinding down on the temp base. And get it back there. Where am I at? All right. Frankly, I was expecting that gravel and all that loose stuff sitting on the ground to be gone. Uh, because of the scrap. But let's start. Come on. We'll see just how much we can grind this down. Last thing will come down is that stuff up there. there and start. Get you down. I think we're going to get it all on one trip here. See if I can uh, keep from killing myself. All right, that's our stairs down. Uh, that's our stairs down, so we don't. So we want to do you. Come on. Oh, dear. All right. Well, that was a close call. All right. Uh-oh. All 
All right, well, let's just start grinding this stuff from down below. This way we're... There we go. Now we can reach it. All right. And the temp base is... No more. And let's uh, do the... I apologize for that. I keep hitting the tab, which is uh, from a different game that I've been playing as well. You probably saw it out there. Icarus. Uh, it's a survival game. And uh, feel free to, to check out the videos on that. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of a challenge. All right. Temp base. Delete. All right. So that's progress. And uh, we'll get back to base. And the sun shines up, and I think uh, we're going to be uh, have about another day done. So, oop, oh, let's put that on. I guess before I start, I should turn the power back on, eh? All right, we should be able to just kind of... Oh, I got more gravel over here. Dang it. And I want all that gravel. I thought I had it all pulled over. Alright. Let's see if we got room. How much we got room for. Well, you know what? Actually, I am... Let's hop out of here. And we'll see the sun come up. And uh, I... Uh, we'll, uh, going to call this, uh, day f five, day five, day six, day six. This is day six. I'm going to load up as much more of this gravel. I'm going to get it all hauled back down there. And, uh, I will see you all on the next, uh, saga here on this, uh, rocky ice planet. All right, all you space engineers out there, thanks for watching. We made some progress today, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks again.